China's DFZF hypersonic missile travels at Mach 5 Plus, rewriting the rules of modern warfare. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, its unpredictable glide path and mid-flight maneuvers make interception nearly impossible. During tests, it successfully circled the globe before striking its target, a capability that renders existing early warning systems obsolete. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a strategic game changer that could neutralize America's $400 billion missile defense investments in minutes. The US THAAD and Aegis systems, designed during the Cold War, face fundamental physics challenges against hypersonics. Their radars require 20 to 30 seconds to track and intercept targets, but hypersonics cover that distance in just 10 seconds. During 2022 war games, simulations showed 90% of Chinese hypersonics penetrated defenses. The kill chain simply can't keep up with missiles that maneuver like this. Even space-based sensors struggle with the plasma blackout effect during re-entry. North Korea's successful Hwasong-8 tests in 2021 proved hypersonic technology is spreading. Intelligence suggests possible technology transfers through China's Belt and Road Initiative. Pyongyang's frontal breakthrough strategy explicitly links these missiles to nuclear delivery systems. The nightmare scenario? A nuclear-armed hypersonic missile that could reach Guam in eight minutes, leaving no time for diplomatic solutions. Sanctions have failed to stop this advancement as North Korea developed domestic production capabilities. The U.S. response has been contradictory, expanding THAAD deployments in South Korea while pursuing diplomacy. This dual approach strains alliances, Seoul fears becoming a battleground, while Tokyo pushes for offensive strike capabilities. Meanwhile, China and Russia conduct joint hypersonic exercises, sharing tracking data to overwhelm defenses. The result? A classic security dilemma where every defensive move provokes more advanced weapons development from adversaries. Cutting-edge solutions like the Air Force's HELSI laser program and AI-powered predictive tracking offer hope but won't be operational until 2030. Some propose radical alternatives, from accepting mutual vulnerability to negotiating hypersonic bans. However, with China developing space-based launch platforms and North Korea advancing warhead miniaturization, time is running out. The bitter truth? There's no perfect defense, only risk management between unacceptable choices in this new era of hyperspeed warfare.